traditional ruler orders flogging of indecent dressers, cutting of strange haircut in Bayesa community. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. The traditional ruler of the Okwama community of Brass Council area of Bayasa State, the Amayanabo of Okwama Kingdom, King Emmanuel Ebitemi Banigo, Okwama, the, the Okwama has sanctioned the flogging of young men accused of dressing indecently in his community. The monarch also sanctioned the raid on spots allegedly used by drug peddlers, Daily Post reports. It was learned that the exercise was carried out by a team comprising community duty and chiefs led by chairman of the chief's council, Chief Iniku Samsele Dede. The team demolished 14 joints where illicit drugs were being sold, drugs such as cannabis, benzos, cocaine, LSD, and codeine were found and seized, the report said. It was further gathered that the exercise was carried out on Sunday, May 1st, following the rising drug use within the community. A source in the community confirmed that scores of youth with alleged indecent hair caught and saggy trousers were apprehended and their hair was forcibly shaved off. The youth were also reported flog, reportedly flogged, assaulted and dehumanized. Speaking at the end of the exercise, Chief Iniku Sam Seledidi said Obama has forbidden peddling and consumption of drugs, adding that anybody caught will be handed over to the law enforcement agents for prosecution. He therefore called on dealers of hard drug to keep off the area. I think this is actually the way they are going about it. I don't think it is actually the right way to go about it. The people, the main people here are to make sure you get those who are bringing these drugs in number one. Because if the drugs do not find their way to the community, I doubt people will go out to get it. Like if I know that if I look for this thing, I will not see it. Then why will I? Why will I stress myself? I will not. The money will be in my pocket. First of all. Then secondly, what are you using to occupy the minds of these youth? That they say the the how how am I? Uh, how am I going to? What's that idiom? And I don't mind. Thank you. Is the devil's workshop? What are they doing to occupy the minds of this youth to ensure that even when they have such thoughts again, they are going to be engaged and too busy to go out and look for those drugs or to go out and do anything they do? This is one way to go about it, and it is surely not the best way. It's surely not the best way. The government have a part to play. Parents of the children has a part also to play. No matter how perfect you treat an issue in any part of Nigeria, there will still be dissenting voices. The bias and community doing this should be applauded. This youth are the future of this country. And you think this is the only way to go about it. We are not in the 18th century. We are not in the 80s or 70s. We are actually in the 21st century where your discipline will not work discipline without occupying the minds of this youth making them making getting them making them productively busy then making sure that the drug dealers too they have their own punishment making the drug dealers if they catch you this is how much you're going to be paying or this is how you, this is going to go down let the law be also hard on them so that when they think about if I do this and they catch me, it is a problem for me. If I do this and I'm caught, it is a problem for me, so it is better I don't do it at all. 
because I feel at the end of the day, if you flog, if you barb and ev do everything and you don't occupy the mind of this same youth, then <laughs> whatever you did, I don't, I don't see the, I don't see the use. There is something called freedom of expression in the constitution. The victim have the right to express themselves any way they want, as long as it does not contravene the constitution. If they want to long hair, it is their choice. If they want to wear long trousers, it is their choice. There is no law empowering any traditional ruler to mutilate any part of the victim's body. This is infringement of human rights and personal space. It is victimization and vilification. Every Nigerian is a free citizen. No one in Nigeria can define what indecent dressing is. Only the Nigerian constitution can define what indecent dressing is. If you wear a military officer and you are not a military officer, it is called indecent dressing and there is a heavy fine for it. This is how the law sees indecent dressing. The Nigerian constitution is secular. You have a point. You have a point. You do have a point. The same traditional rule sharing oil money, killing the future of the youth in the region. <laughs> Hey, while I do too much, the same so-called villa so does not know left from right. My brother, that is why I'm saying, what exactly are they doing? What exactly are they doing? Are they just coming out to shave after shaving their heads? After flogging them? Then what next? What do you want this youth to do? I support this action. What is wrong with our children who wear socks and slippers and some of them are so unkempt? <laughs> uh. Some people think we are still in the night, is sure. Is cutting of hair the major problem in Bayesa? Small power, they will start abusing it. Well, shall a poor man eat their effect? Poverty is bad. Hozo made them not cut your hair by force, my brother. Maybe small Hozo. This so called traditional ruler is biting more than you can chew. Someone should remind him that Bayesa is not canon. Youth from that area are very capable of hitting back at anybody, irrespective of a status in the community. Hmm. I am not against this, but the problem is when they see the big boys, they won't touch them. This is mainly on poor boys, small boys or upcoming boys, thereby making the poor feel the impact and sparing the rich. We have a point as well. We have a point. <laughs> 